up y'all and welcome to the Wizard's Forge. This video is going to cover how to create a mod that will swap the player character model with another character in game. For this video we're going to create a mod that's going to allow the player to play as a house elf. With that being said, let's get started. A quick thing to note before we get started, this mod will only handle transforming the player character into a different character model. Since this mod reloads the character, the player will remain transformed even after this mod is disabled. For simplicity's sake, I created this player avatar swap back mod that will transform the character back to their original model. I just make sure to mention this in your mod description or add a way to change the character back in your mod mutator. To create our avatar swap mod, first we're going to create an empty mod, so I'm going to select this modding button up at the top, and then select create mod. Then I'm going to select a new empty mod, and then give our mod plugin a name. I'm going to call it WFM underscore avatar swap mod underscore zero one. Once that looks good, I'm going to press this create mod button. Next, we're going to create a mod mutator, so we're going to make sure we're still in our mod folder, then we'll right click in the content browser, and then select blueprint class. Then in the search bar, I'm going to type in Mod Mutator and then select this first Mod Mutator option. Then I'll give our blueprint a name. I'm going to call it BP for Blueprint underscore Mod Mutator. And then we're going to double click our blueprint to open up our Mod Mutator. This Mod Mutator will allow us to change how the base game runs by default by telling the game to run certain functions whenever we want something to happen. Now for this mod, we want our mutator to detect whenever the avatar is spawned, and then replace that avatar with a different mesh. So we're going to come over here for actor types for spawn notifications, and then press the plus button to add an element. We want this mod mutator to trigger whenever it senses the player spawn. So we're going to select the none drop down, and we're going to type in bp underscore biped underscore player, and then select the biped player. Next up, we're going to tell the mod mutator what code to run whenever it senses the biped player spawning. We'll do this by creating an override function. So we're going to navigate over to the function section, then select this override option, and then select receive actor spawn notification. Now this event will trigger whenever it senses the biped player spawning. Next up, we just got to set what code we want it to run. So I'm going to drag off this execute pin, and then I'm going to type in set character look override. I want this mod to override the player character, so in this character ID section, I'm going to enter the player name exactly as it appears in the registry static table. So I'm going to select this box, and then I'm going to type in player0, all one word with a capital P. Now I could do the same thing for this character ID override, and just type in the name of the character that I want to override the player, but instead I'm going to add another node to make it a little more user friendly. To do this, first I'm going to drag off this character ID override pin, and then I want to make sure context sensitive is disabled. Then I'm going to type in get character from database and then select this node. The event graph will automatically convert this from a string to a name. So all we need to do is select these drop downs and then select what kind of character we want to use. This is going to be structured the same way as the character creator. So first thing we're going to do is set what type of character we want to use. I want to use a house elf for this mod. So I'm going to select this first drop down and then select house elf. Next up, I'm going to select what house elf I want to use. So I'm going to select the second drop down, then I'm going to select house elf underscore M. Now that we've set the character to look like house elf underscore M, all we need to do is reload the character so those changes take effect. The first thing I want to do is get a reference to the player character. So I'm going to right click in the event graph, then I'm going to type in get player character, and then select this bottom option. Now that we have a reference to the player character, we're going to want to get its customization component. So we're going to drag off this return value, then I'm going to type in get customization component and then select this first option. Now if you still have context sensitive disabled, I'd recommend re-enabling it so you only get results that are relevant to what you're trying to do. I'm going to move this get customization component node up and then connect it to the execute pin for this set character look override node. Now all that's left to do is reload our character. So I'm going to drag off this customization component pin, then I'm going to type in reload character, and then select this first option. Then I'm going to hook up the execute pins, and then compile and save the blueprint. Then if we reload into the creator kit, we'll see that the character model has been replaced by the house elf. Then we'll finish out this video by uploading our mod. So I'm going to select this upload mod button up at the top, then make sure the correct mod is selected, and then give our mod a name. This is going to be how it appears in the mod menu in game. Then I'm going to set the logo, making sure it's a one by one image that's at least 400 pixels under 5 megabytes. So you're going to want a square image under 5 megabytes. 
and for the category I'm going to select character and then set the mod summary. So I'm going to say swaps the player's character mesh with a house elf. Then finally we set the mod description. So I have swaps the player's character mesh with a house elf. This mod will trigger automatically once the game is loaded. Then I have a note at the bottom. Nope, this character will remain a house elf even after the mod is disabled. To swap the character model back, please download the player avatar swap mod or any other mod that changes the character model. Then when everything looks good, select the upload button. Thanks for watching and that's going to be it for this video. If you found it helpful, like and subscribe, and let me know what kinds of videos and tutorials you'd like to see next. Wizards Forge Mods, out.